Hello students, I am Dr. B. K. Singh, Professor of Civil Engineering at Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College, Ghaziabad. So, uh, today in unit number 3, uh, lecture number 3, I will be discussing uh, 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 segregation, bleeding and latence. So, th these are the things connected to fresh concrete. Okay. So, this is very, very important for maintaining the quality in the concrete. Uh, so, what is segregation? So, is you know concrete is a process material and in this process of production, uh, concrete batching is required and after the batching between mixing and finishes, we have a steps like transportation of the concrete, placing of the concrete and compaction. So, during the transportation, placing and compaction, if the mixture is uh, uniform throughout this operation, then we can say segregation has not taken place. But if not remains uniform, then concrete is, is getting segregated. So, segregation is the process uh, in which the separation of concrete makes uh, concrete mix takes place and uh, due to the different uh, ingredients having the different uh, specific gravity. Okay. So, coarse aggregates tends to get separated from the bulk of the concrete. So, that is very dangerous situation and in that case we will get a very poor quality of concrete. So, if you see the plate number 1, figure number 1 here, so this is a casting of a concrete. So, what we have observed here, so uh, here coarse aggregate has got settled over here and uh, mortar. So, mortar, paste and mortar. So, how we get the paste? So, paste consists of uh, cement plus water and if you take the paste plus fine aggregate. So, fine aggregate size is ranging between points uh, uh, 7.5 mm to 4. Points uh, 75 mm means 75 micron to 4.7 that makes the fine grain. So, this will become motor, motor. So, this particle will get separated with coarse aggregate. So, because in this process they have a different specific gravity. So, cement is having a different specific gravity. So, motor all together if the specific gravity of motor is not similar to the specific gravity of coarse aggregate, then there is a tendency of sinking of coarse aggregate here. So, uh, here coarse aggregate has got settled. So, this may happen during the transport also due to the jolting action or during the placing, uh, because the placing we go for the vibration and due to that vibration if your, uh, <coughs> your mix is not uniform, then it have a tendency of getting settled here. So, here you can observe here. So, top portion paste and motor is here and bottom this is the coarse aggregate, this is a coarse aggregate and here some air gap will be there. So, this is the actual concrete here you can see here in this uh, uh, photo. So, what is happening here? Uh, this coarse aggregate got separated. So, this is one of the case for internal uh, type of segregation uh, and sometimes it will also happen when water cement ratio is very high or water cement ratio is very, very low. In both the conditions, there is a chances of segregation. So, we should stop the segregation by selecting the uh, proper type of design mix. So, you see this in this photograph here, uh, due to segregation, you will be observing here honeycombing is taking place in this aggregate. So, here honeycombing has taken place. So, what is honeycombing? Uh, there is a gap, there are missing of motor, motor is missing, very small amount of motor is here. 
So, due to that what will happen this concrete is not going to perform properly uh, means their compressive strength will be also less because there is an compressive strength will be poor. D if you consider the durability aspect this concrete will not be durable why because this is having a porous. So, due to porous what will happen there is a chances or due to this pores concrete is permeable and permeable concrete is going to give access to carbon dioxide, oxygen, moisture, chloride, sulphate and other harmful ingredients inside the uh, harmful uh, substance inside the concrete. So, due to that what will happen if it is a reinforced cement concrete or pre stress concrete uh, this is going to cause corrosion. Okay. So, if corrosion will take place then the structure which has been intended for lasting for 100 year that is going to get collapse within 5 years of the construction even less. So, we have to see that we should have a good quality of concrete. So, so, what are the different types of segregation? So, we have generally two types of segregation internal segregation and external segregation. So, in internal segregation heavier part of the aggregates accumulates on the bottom and finer part will stay at the top during compaction. So, how it happen because sometimes we have a coarse aggregate say we have a red hematite, red hematite as a coarse aggregate for heavy density uh, high density concrete, high density concrete say there. Uh, so, in that case their uh, specific gravity is very very high. Similarly, many aggregates which are having more uh, a specific gravity with respect to your motor. So, motor consists of what? Very light material water, then we have admixture, we have a cement which is having a higher density and uh, we have fine aggregate. So, if this portion is a specific gravity is similar to the coarse aggregate. Uh, this type of segregation may not take place, but if it is a heavy coarse aggregate is heavy. So, what will happen this will have a tendency of get settled get settled uh, like this suppose we have a concrete say here member is here. So, this concrete say this is the surface. So, here we have a mortar which is having a less dense material and here we have maximum coarse aggregate particle ok, coarse aggregate. This is having more density. So, due to the low value this is having a tendency of sinking. So, coarse aggregate get sink and at the bottom we have more coarse aggregate with respect to top ok bottom is having coarser aggregate and top you have finer aggregate concrete. So, due to this we will get lesser strength. Another we have external segregation we have a two cases here. If we have inadequate cohesiveness of the cement paste due to the high water cement ratio causes external wet segregation. Okay. If water cement ratio is very high what will happen this aggregate will get settled because there is no cohesiveness okay. and uh, second case is if sufficient water cement ratio is not there means we have a almost dry mix. So, dry mix if you uh, do it what will happen this will get collapsed uh, this will have a uh, almost uh, this will get separated. Okay. 
So, in this case um, a workable concrete is less prone to segregation. So, how to get the workable concrete? By getting the true slump. If you getting the true slump, we have discussed three types of slump is there. One is true slump, shear slump and we have collapse slump. We have collapse slump. So, this type of slump is not allowed, only we get the true slump that is the uh, basic fundamental behind that and uh, we have you see uh, this figure here this is a true slump. So, true slump is going to get like this we are going to get in this fashion. So, you can say this is a very much good concrete and if if your concrete is getting a sheared off sheared off like this or uh, if it is a very harsh then it will get shear off here and this particle will get somewhere here like this. So, this is going to shear slump. So, let us say this is having uh, say we can say this is having not a good concrete and uh, this is suppose I want collapse slump means all the particle will get collapse in this fashion collapse in this fashion. Okay. So, this concrete we can say I started weeping like this okay. I started weeping like this. Okay. So, this is having a, a smiley face ah, and uh, this is a having a sad face and this is a sad face with weeping condition. Okay. So, we should not have this type of concrete. So, this will have will cause segregation. So, we should have good if you have a good workable concrete then it is not going to segregate in normal condition. So, segregation can also cause by poor handling even your concrete is having good concrete uh, having a true slump, but uh, suppose you are dropping from the deep more height. So, if you are dropping the concrete from the more height what will happen this coarse aggregate having a tendency of getting separ separated with respect to the fine aggregate. So, this type of situation should also avoid. Okay. So, we have to take it the concrete to the height nearer to that and it should not have more than 1.5 meter 1 meter. If you drop from that uh, concrete particle there is a chance of that it will get segregated. Another is if you have a suit you are transporting the concrete through the suits and if it is passing through the uh, long distance and if slope is more like this you have a more slope uh, concrete is passing through this uh, suit and in this suit concrete is having a greater slope. So, if during this rolling operation there is a chances that uh, your concrete get segregated means coarse aggregate will get segregated from the rest of the concrete. Another case is excessive vibration. So, if you are doing vibration concrete has to be expelled out the excess air uh, we need the vibration. So, if you vibrate for more times more than required time either with needle vibration or everything. So, there is a chances if you vibrate for more time. So, generally uh, you should uh, uh, not be vibrated more otherwise what will happen segregation will take place and another term bleeding is there that may also occur segregation and bleeding may occur in the concrete. Uh, bleeding means we will discuss in the next topics here only what is bleeding. So, this segregation there is a chances of segregation of concrete. So, that we have to avoid excessive vibration. So, how to test? So, there is no concrete method of testing given, but uh, we can test it with the cylinder mold. Okay. So, you take the cylinder here. So, what is the method here? Uh, generally, this method has not been standardized. So, you take one cylinder. So, in this cylinder fill the concrete, concrete fill it completely and after the filling 
you vibrate for 10 minutes, vibrate for 10 minutes okay. and after the vibration you remove the mold. So, after removal you take the two divide into two parts, divide into two parts. So, this will be the top one and this one will be the bottom one half. So, here you will observe if segregation is taking place, here you will find more coarse aggregate with respect to the top portion. So, what we have to do? You take out all the coarse aggregate and find the segregation factor. So, segregation factor how you have to find out weight coarse aggregate in lower part this part and divide weight of uh, coarse aggregate sorry in upper part. Okay. So, if it is nearly 1, okay. if it is nearly 1 means it is ok, if it is nearly 1, if it is nearly 1 then it is ok, say if you are getting 0 0.99, 0 0.98. So, there is no difference in uh, density. So, what is external segregation? Uh, say is 1 or sometimes even you remove this and by visual inspection also you can say this concrete is getting segregated or not. After the removal you can uh, observe the uh, observe the surface. So, if you are finding more coarse aggregate at bottom you can judge and say. Another is external segregation. So, external segregation measurement is best way is measuring the tensile strength. If the tensile strength is poor, if the tensile strength is poor, uh, so for do doing the tensile strength test what you have to do? Cast the cylinder, you put the put some membrane here, uh, uh, stick with epoxy some steel plate, steel plate with epoxy and then you test under tension. Okay. So, if the tensile strength is good, then you can say uh, external segregation is not taking place. Another method of doing the external segregation test is heap test. So, in heap test what you have to do? Just take the, uh, just take the concrete, put in a hopper from the certain height and uh, allow it to drop there on some plane surface. So, after the plane surface take the photograph. So, you observe the photograph and uh, that can you help you in uh, deciding whether the concrete is getting segregated or not. So, heap test and uniaxial tensile strength these are the two tests you can do, but generally in field this test is uh, not been done. Another thing uh, if the amount of fines in concrete mix is less, see in that case also there is a chances of segregation. So, recommended minimum quantity of fines to prevent segregation is if the nominal size of coarse aggregate 10 mm, then quantity of fines is 525 kg per meter cube. If maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm, in that case minimum amount of fines you have to take 400 kg and so on. Suppose it is a 80 mm maximum size, in that case you must take minimum of 280 kg per meter cube fines. So, this is the recommendations so that can be followed during the mixed design. Okay. So, another terminology is bleeding or water gain, this is the common term. So, what is bleeding? So, in bleeding is a process in which free water which is the lightest ingredients in concrete because their density is 1 gram per cc raised to the surface of the concrete as the heavier particles set up. So, bleeding technically typically accompanied segregation. So, bleeding and segregation will take place simultaneously because there will be channel will be there during the segregation process and water will come to the surface, water will come to the surface. 
So, it can be either external when water rises all the way up to the surface of the concrete or internal where the rising water gets trapped underneath the aggregate or reinforcement bars as shown in the figure. So, here say this is a concrete surface over here what you are observing this is a concrete surface here concrete surface here this is the aggregate uh, and below this aggregate there is a chance that this water suppose you have a flaky type of aggregate. So, water may get accumulated here or some reinforcement is there. So, in reinforcement also below the reinforcement there is chances that some paste will be there water will get collected and uh, if you mo vibrate more what will happen this water may come on the surface that you can uh, see clearly. Okay. So, this is the process of segregation and bleeding both takes place simultaneously. Okay. So, you see some photographs here. Uh, so, here you see this is a concreting is going on and this concrete this coarse aggregate is getting segregated this part this part is getting segregated uh, in this slab casting and finer water is coming here. So, this portion is getting bleeding. Okay. So, this is the finished surface if you see this finished surface what is happening here uh, you can observe here this uh, portion water has come on the surface. Okay. So, this water you can observe here this is coming on the surface or in the laboratory if you are going to cast the beam. So, here I have casted the beam for flexural test or even you are casting the cube or even you are casting the cylinder. Okay. So, in this case either cube, cylinder, beam you may get if it is if bleeding is taking place at the top surface you can find the water here and even excess is there it may co come outside also. So, this is happening due to bleeding this is happening due to bleeding. Okay. So, how to control the bleeding? How to control the bleeding? So, if you want to control the bleeding in that case what you have to do increase the fineness of cement if finer is the cement bleeding will be less. Similarly, if you increase the amount of C 3 A content in the cement we have to select the cement which is having more percentage of C 3 A. So, that is also able to control the bleeding in the concrete or you can add some accelerating agent. So, if you putting certain accelerating agent uh, in that case also what will happen concrete will get uh, uh, set faster and due to the fast setting action bleeding will get uh, bleeding will get controlled. You have to use the rich mixes if you have you are using the lean mix uh, there is a chances of bleeding is more. So, it is always better to go for the good quality of rich mix. You add some silica fumes. So, silica fumes uh, that is going to decrease your bleeding. So, addition of minerals in the concrete is also controls the bleeding also controls the bleeding. So, these are the methods you can adopt for controlling the bleeding. Okay. So, another terminology is latence, another terminology is latence. So, what is latence? So, this formation of layer weak and non durable cement and fine particles at the surface is known as latence. So, because concrete we are casting in different lift. So, first lift due to the bleeding uh, uh, it is chances that the final particles of uh, cement and uh, fine aggregate will come at the top and that is going to form the uh, weaker joint. Okay. So, lattice is nothing but a weaker, weaker joint, weaker layer. So, if this, this is happening suppose we want to cast here one portion one concrete is here one cast uh, we have done casting here at this part. So, this is due to the movement of the lighter material here one layer fine layer will occur at this portion. 
So, this is nothing but latency. latency. So, what this latency is doing here? If you cast the concrete on the same thing, you, it will it will cause here a poor joint, poor joint. So, that we have to avoid. So, if latency is formed on a particular leaf, a plane of weakness will form, plane of weakness will form and the bond with the next leaf will be poor. This could be avoided by removing the latency fully before the next before the next lift is powered. So, that is very very important uh, that you have to do is. So, you have to remove by certain means there is just so many techniques. So, that is why in this case also after the removing what we have to do sometimes we put certain aggregate also here. So, that we have a better bonding here. So, sometimes we put the aggregate and this portion will be projected here and after the cleaning of this latents this aggregate is going to give you certain bonds. So, particularly when suppose you have casted uh, suppose we have casted the uh, foundation uh, in that case uh, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we leave certain portion uh, for uh, this uh, 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 for column purpose okay, and there we put certain aggregates also. So, method of concrete latency removal what is the methods we can adopt because that depends on the surface area. So, how much surface area of the concrete is there suppose it is a dam one you construction of dam. So, at a time you will get lots of area suppose it is a column. So, surface area is less. Uh, so, depends on that we have to adopt different method of this one. So, first one is soot blasting method. So, we have to put certain soot like we have a sand or uh, any metals. So, due to that we can blast with heavy speed high speed. So, that is going to remove the loose particle and weak portion from uh, that. Then we have mechanical planning method. So, mechanically we can remove it if suppose some hard things is there with the help of that we can run that machine and that will be able to remove and afterwards you can clean the latents. Then we have a scabling method. So, a scabling means we have to scratch basically we have to scratch the surface. So, if you scratch this so after the scratching we can uh, clean that. Uh, and that way you can remove the uh, we can remove the uh, <coughs> latency because latency is going to cause very weak joint. So, that must be removed another method is grinding. So, you can go for the grinding uh, grinding you can do if the area is a small uh, grinding is also possible. So, you can go for the grinding and after the grinding you can remove it with the help of grinder. So, this is the one of the method. Then a seed etching method is also there. You can put certain if the uh, thickness of the uh, <laughs> latency is small thin then you can put certain a c and after putting the a c you can uh, scrub and you can completely remove it. Another is abrading method. So, you have to use some abrasive. So, using the abrasive we will be in a position of uh, removing these things. So, in this particular lectures we have learned about the uh, about the segregation, bleeding and latency. So, this should not occur in your concrete. So, this has to be controlled at the site. So, that if the fresh concrete is proper then hardened concrete have a better properties. So, thank you and next class we will do uh, some other testings ok. Thank you.